Namaste beautiful yogis, welcome to Ali Kamanova Yoga, I'm Ali and today we're doing abs and stomach body hacking class and we have a little guest today that wants to show us one of her poses, ta-da! <laughs> wow, she really wanted, oh my, oh my gosh, are you kidding me? That is so good. All right, feet touching the head, that's advanced. <laughs> Thank you, Lottie. Uh, today's class is going to be, as I said, abs and stomach. And uh, uh, I'll tell you a couple of things about the subjects before the subject before we begin. Um, to recap, the body hacking series will be um, 30 day classes uh, on YouTube here for uh, open to the public. And I will have a follow-up vignette on Monday and Tuesday on my membership. Usually on my membership, Monday and Tuesday is the new classes. I post new classes on Monday and Tuesday, sometimes also on Wednesday, uh, the beginner class, uh, which is the third new class for the week. Uh, for this membership, because I want everybody to join in regardless of uh, your level, I have follow-up vignettes on the membership, so I give the membership uh, people also something very exciting as well as I want everybody to join here. Um, I'll read to you something about health from Ben Sadunom, the person that uh, influenced uh, uh, my spiritual views uh, when I was young. I've talked about it a lot. It's, um, um, it was a Bulgarian philosopher. Anyways, uh, so um, according to Ben Sadunom, health depends on four uh, main principles and all of our health is dependent on, this, on these four principles. The first one is the strength of our spirit. The second one is the goodness of our soul. The third one is the light of our mind. And the fourth one is the softness of our heart. And you know, we all work on all these principles through the classes, it's a continuous um, work. Uh, we can always soften the heart more, opening and softening, and those are similar principles. Um, bring more light in, strengthen the spirit, uh, um, make, uh, bring goodness into the soul and bring light into the mind, right? Mm contain more light in the mind. Now, um, for the, for the uh, I will call uh, the classes that follow these classes on the membership vignettes. So it's gonna be a stomach vignette um, for, um, for the membership. I'll give you a little uh, body hacking uh, recipe before we begin and the class itself will be body hacking moves that will give you a lot of, um, uh, uh, practically will serve your stomach and abs in an amazing way. So if you feel sometimes that, and we all go through those periods, but some people have in, uh, in, in, uh, in particular uh, weakness in the area of the stomach. So if they get stressed out, that's what it hits. And it's not just about the abs, although the abs do help because when we work on Mulabanda lifting, so there is no prolapses, and uh, when we work on the muscles in a smart way, not just like grueling ab workouts, but in a smart way, we support the fascia, the um, organs, the muscles, etc. Uh, we, uh, in general, will strengthen the stomach over time uh, with all the stuff we do with the twists and all uh, the um, lymphatic drainage and all of that, the stomach lymph drainage and all of that. Now I have a body hacking uh, recipe for you. If, uh, if you uh, go through a period where your stomach feels weak, it's not as strong as you want it to be, or if uh, your stomach is your weak spot, your weak place, um, the recipe is uh, from Ben Saduno to every day to drink uh, a, a glass of cool water um, in small sips, uh, 40 sips, uh, make it into 40 sips, very consciously and sl slowly as if you're chewing the water, right? And if you do this daily, uh, uh, at the end of a 40 day period, your stomach will uh, improve. That will strengthen the capacity of the stomach. That is more of a, um, almost like you consider it a spiritual recipe, but I think the mindfulness element of it, if you know how to slow down and slowly and mindfully drink water, everything in your body can change. I think um, 
in the organ series that I did on my website um, maybe two years ago, I spoke a lot about consciously eating, consciously drinking water, uh, living life consciously. When we uh, 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 put a higher thought and consciousness into our actions, we can actually really heal on a deep level. How we intake the sunlight, how we intake water, just the act of drinking water alone can heal pretty much anything. The act of consciously breathing can heal uh, many conditions, right? So this is all about um, transforming your awareness and the way you execute life, the way you approach life. Um, another thing is in general for a strong stomach, um, he considers that is true for me. Uh, eating once a day and not overeating, it really improves the functioning of the stomach because we give it enough time to rest. Now, some people have to have the opposite and that also can very well work for, uh, especially for a weaker stomach, just small meals throughout the day. Again, everything should be done consciously and one important element of a strong stomach is to not have negative thoughts during eating. So to really pay attention to the mind while you eat. You cannot be stressed out. That for me was always a very important element. If I felt stressed out um, as a kid until now, I, I could not eat because it would give me stomach ache always no exception if i'm stressed out i don't eat i have to calm down and then i'll eat um, if i'm kind of under stress or by the way eating i'll get a stomach ache and i'm not prone to stomach aches it's just the mind uh, we have energies flowing through the brain into the stomach so when it's it's very busy here we don't have uh, energy enough flowing in the stomach to deal with digestion and digestion is a very important um, thing, not only physically, but also spiritually, because it's how we digest information and in life. So it goes deeper than just intaking food and transforming it into energy and tissue. Uh, so we'll begin today. We're going to focus on a lot of uh, abs and stomach exercises and some stomach lymph and some digestive uh, exercises that will support not only the stomach but also the organs of detoxification such as the liver and intestines um, and remember to flow with love strength and ease starting with arm swinging side to side. You can soften the gaze and trace. Trace back your arms with your eyes. So think of movement as a full body movement, whole body movement. We are moving from the feet and toes all the way to the crown of the head, including the eyes. The eyes follow the arms, the head follows the neck. There's an elongation of the spine. Everything is connected, of course, and we experience it as such. Great. From here, we're going to To begin with hip circles, hip circles are really, these are partial hip circles, so you do one hip circle, the other hip circle, so you're going from the right to the left, and it's a single hip circle, instead of the legs together, the legs are separated, and it's almost like figure eight, uh, but be free here, be loose, you can make it your own too, um, they don't need to be regimented, but hip circles are very good for the liver, it's a good motion let's bring the shoulders in circular movement is extremely important I don't include it in all classes because I can't include everything I've worked with so many movement styles in my <laughs> career over the course of my teaching career so um, I can include every movement style in every class, so we cover a lot in the span of classes. As long as you do rotate the movements, you're good. Your body benefits from the change. As we change, 
we recruit different um, um, parts of the nervous system, we create more neural pathways as we change movement. So we don't just create new muscles, which oftentimes we don't, we're looking about the same, but the nervous system is renewed, it's improved. All right, circles with the fingertips. Deepen the breath. From here, we're going to do squat. Um, all the way to uh, uh, legs parallel to the floor, push the booty back and lift the left knee. Squat, right, squat, left, right, left, right, left, right. All right, now we're gonna deepen it. Squat, lift the left and twist. Right hand, left knee, look behind, squat, change, squat, change, squat, involve the shoulder, involve your gaze. Balancing here, balancing is another, I've said this, um, in the second heart program, but it's a predictor of longevity, how well we can balance. It shows how well the nervous system is functioning and how well the skeletal system. All right, now we're gonna deepen it. So squat, lift the left knee, come on to the tippy toes. Now if you need to hold on to something or be close to something, you can. But try to work on your balance, opposite side. I did this already in the second heart series. A lot of these are very draining for the um, stomach lymph area. I might be getting you all frustrated now, but you'll thank me, thank me later. This uh, full movement really works on the legs and now on the this stomach and abs area. All right, now we're gonna twist with the same move. Right hand, left knee, tippy toes, look behind. Uh, and laugh. Every time you you don't do it correctly, <laughs> you lose it, just laugh. So you have extra laughs with each class. And focus. It's no big deal. When we lose it, it's the process of exercising, not the perfection. All right, from here, step at the back of your mat. Shift your weight onto the right leg. And you're going to round the back and bring your um, knee in, kind of like standing abs. Pull, hold, isometric hold, release, forward lunge. Hold. That's an isometric hold. They're very powerful. A body hacking move. Delivers a lot for what it is. <laughs> All right, from here, step on the left leg at the front. Bring it in. Step it back. Step. And again. Repeating the left side. <clears throat> Lunge, hold, and really squeeze. This is as powerful as jumping in a different way where we're recruiting different um, neurons, neural pathways. 
All right, squeeze now the right knee. Pull, 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 pull. Lift, Mula Bandha. Give me all you got here on in this one. Because it's not an explosive move, it's different, it's focused. Step it back and return it with flare. <laughs> all right, let's go again. Like a stomach vacuum, hold. Hold. Two more. Pull and lift. Step and hold. Really connect here, lift. I'm lifting so much and almost going into stomach vacuum that I also feel the throat banda. All right, lift here. Reverse and flare. Last one. Step. And lift. Reverse. Here in this reverse, you're extending the tailbone down and engaging. Mula Bandha, everything is lifting. Lower belly lifting. Mini stomach vacuum. Recruiting. Udiana Bandha, Jalandara Bandha. Great, opposite side now. Starting in the, in the back, in the back of your mat, right, right knee in. Step, lift, hold. The isometric hold is everything here. We're approaching this, as I said, in a body hacking way, so it's delivering more if you're just doing lunges. Stepping, bring it in, lots of lift, Mula Bandha, Udiana Bandha, a mild one, reverse, again the isometric hold, and again, The energy is lifting here. I could literally focus on my breath and not say a word here, but I'm teaching. <laughs> it's a lot of work even though it's slower. You can press your hands and shoulders out stretching the back. Last one, I think. I got interrupted by my special guest. So if I have a little bit of mismatch in the numbers, excuse me, we're gonna be okay. As I always say, if we don't match it exactly, mirror, mirror the left and the right, we'll be okay.
the point is here more the connection that we're establishing and we're feeling all right take a breath Clasp your hands and press them away from you and round the back and soften. Soften the back of the shoulders, the back of the upper back. The upper back. Back of the back. All right, back to the back of the mat. <laughs> I'm cracking myself up with all the back stuff but all right so we're at the back of the mat again shifting onto the right leg and here <clears throat> we're going to draw a circle with the left leg very conscious circle I want you to feel your core in your moves I want you to feel your body in your moves as we bring awareness to the stomach in other classes to the liver we shift our connection to it and its state so circle one circle Step at the front into high lunge and grab your, uh, bring your hand underneath your, um, underneath your right knee, twist and come onto the tippy toes if you can. Of course, that is very preferable. This is a lot of twisting, detoxing organs are involved here. We're not going to hold it in general this long, it's just a the showing up the showing stage reverse and circle it so again circular motion for the joints mobility again we're gonna repeat on the same side left leg high lunge twist tippy toes and reverse and again reverse and again this is the fourth rep with control I did this a lot in the second heart series with a lot of jumping a lot of lymphatic drainage a lot of stimulating of the second heart which is very important for the circulatory system vascular system last one all right and we're gonna change right side circle and see i lose it it's no big deal i go back to it i do as do as much as i can the whole time you feel your core two third one four last one great and we're gonna drop onto the heels from the toes tippy toes to the heels this is a, we're using reverberation sound frequency moving through the bones strengthening the bones I have it in um, in more jumping ways but here this is enough and you hear the oh uh, uh. <laughs> moving through the body through the tissues through the fascia through the bones through the joints strengthening also the blood vessels the lymphatic system 
a few more. So tippy toes drop, tippy toes drop with soft knees, tippy toes drop. Do not lock your knees. As far as I'm concerned, ever, never. Um, some people are safe with locking the knees because they're, they're not hypermobile, but people that have hypermobility in the joints, locking the knees is a big no-no. All right, now we're gonna work on all of this limb that we're moving from all this twisting and um, <sighs> dropping on the heels kind of rocking. Now we're gonna move everything with side bends. One, really lengthen. Lengthen both sides, feel both sides lengthening. And We'll finish off with a variation of what we started with. So take um, a squat position, squat, lift the heels, strong pelvis, strong belly, drop, and bring your right uh, left foot, right hand to left foot, slightly across to stretch this sauce here. You can look back and come onto the tippy toes. Great. Squat, lift. Squat, lift. Squat. A few more. Really feel your core here and your pelvic floor. Your legs are gonna also be very happy and strong. All right. From here, squat down onto your tippy toes, drop the heels down, drop all the way on the ground. And then we're going to Top it all off here on the floor with an isometric hold for the abs. So you're going to extend the tailbone down, lower the lower back on the mat, keep it there. Pull the lower belly up, engage the lower belly. And you're going to hold here, isometric hold. Change. 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 Ooh. One more on each side. Change. Finishing off with a super slow. Again, the ball body hacking way. So you're going to drag or glide, a prettier word, your heel in and out. One more. Change. Everything here is really connected, really connected. And lay down. Let's drop the knees to the right. Head looks over to the left. Change. And stay here for a few moments, allowing yourself to, to surrender, to flow, to feel ease, openness. Surrender through the body in the body and from here this is absolutely enough 
this is done a done deal a done class but for those of you that are on my membership we're gonna have a floor session so hop over in an hour in the evening you can split them up um, for today I have a little bit of a vignette a bonus vignette but if you're just here this is enough these classes are enough and remember to flow with love strength and ease Namaste.